Prairie Meat YouTubers, this is Lady Grave Dancer. I wanted to do another video response while I was in the car because I know once I get into the house, I'm not gonna have time to make another video tonight. We're just really busy with stuff. Um, I watched a video of a friend named Melissa and she was doing the giveaway with the Hecate statue and Hecate items and you know, we were all telling her maybe you need to rethink that and this and that well she did a video about coming across a homeless vet and giving him money i'm gonna link that video on the down bar as well so you can go check her out but i want to do this video response to talk to you melissa and tell you i believe once you got into that store and you couldn't stop thinking about the vet the homeless guy and then you're terrified and you're walking and you're you know praying to Hecate and talking to her and she gives you the strength to walk over to him she was right there with you and and this is something I don't hear from a lot of people but maybe we will in the comments today and you were saying that it was the first time that you got out of the ritual setting and the um, you know where you have to do a big old to do to talk to her and communicate with her and that very day you realized that you didn't have to and you don't have to she wanted the reason that guy was in your head and you couldn't get out of your head is because she put him there. And she wanted you to ask her to help you. She wanted her her she wanted you just to communicate to her without having to do a big to-do. Because when you're doing a big old to-do, you know, getting ready for ritual and stuff, it can get frustrating sometimes. I know. And sometimes you just want to talk. And the most most of the communication that I have with Hecate is just that, just what you did. And I feel her presence afterwards. And the more that you talk to her like that, the the more obvious it'll be that she's there. The more you'll feel her, the more you'll hear her, and the more you will see her. She put that guy in your head and wouldn't let it get out of your head so that you would call on her so you could see. You don't have to get all out to talk to me, you know? So she was trying to tell you, I'm here, just talk to me. And I was so happy when I saw that video. I was like, I have to make a video response. I gotta make a video response because I know that she did that so you would just talk to her and just ask her for help, you know? It's something as small as I'm getting frustrated in traffic. I will call on her and ask her, please help me calm down. Please tell, you know, help me get through this. Um, you know, it, I know it might sound kind of Christian-y, you know where they call on Jesus for everything, but it's not the same It's not the same at all She wants to work with you. She wants to be with you. You know, she wants you to know That she's there for you and I know that you weren't feeling that connection and then you were gonna do that giveaway and As soon as I saw that video, I was like You know, no don't give away her stuff. She's there But you have to it's more than just wanting her there people all day long can say oh I want to see Hecate I want to see Hecate well you know what you got to establish that connection and and you've established it now you you wanted her there and you wanted to work with her and you would feel her but you didn't have that direct connection for whatever reason and now you have it it's open and I, you know I just I'm so happy for you and I and I hope that you continue to do so continue on you know communicating with her and calling on her and listening to what she is there when she is sorry I got sidetracked because there's a child right there look see interrupting me damn kids this is an important video but I wanted to do that I wanted to do this video and and let you know I'm so happy for you and if there's anything that I can do for you or anything just you know let me know I'm here I messaged you my phone number and um, you know just call me or text me anytime and yay that's all I gotta say is yay actually after I saw that video that night and I went to um, blow out her candle because I blow out her candle at night and I have a little prayer chant that I say to her every night and then I thanked her for coming to you that day and I could feel this when I'm happy I feel cold it's weird but that's just how it is and I felt this coldness come over my whole body and chills where I know she was like embracing me and and, and let me know you know that she was there with you it's hard to explain and I'm not gonna get all into it because you know 
people won't understand it. But anyways, okay, so I'm rambling. I just want to do this video, video response and let you know I'm so happy. And um, again, that's all. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and go watch her video and see if you feel the same way. If any of you work with Hecate, let me know if you feel the same way that I do. Watch a couple of her videos and, and see where she felt disconnected from her. And then watch that video of that day. I might link it exactly right in the down bar so you can go and check it out like I'm talking about. And see if you feel the same way I do that, you know, that was Hecate's way of getting her to open that communication legitimately and not just because it felt right to do a ritual or it felt right to you know light candles and call on her I feel like she opened it at that moment because of the fear and the wanting to do right and all that and Hecate opened it up and stood with her and walked with her to go do what she did so go watch those videos please and let me know what you think all right guys thanks for watching and yay Melissa and I'll see you at the next video and as always blessed be bye